Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming tutorials. In today's video, we are going to show you how to retouch skin in Photoshop. Whether you are retouching a portrait or a fashion photo, this step-by-step -step guide will help you enhance the skin while preserving its texture and tone. So without further ado, let's get started. To start to open the photo that you want to retouch the skin in, once the photo is open, the first step is to create a duplicate of the background layer. To do this, simply right click on the background layer and select duplicate layer. This will create a new layer that is an exact copy of the background. Next invert the duplicated layer by clicking on the image menu, then adjustments and finally invert. After inverting the layer, right click on it and convert it to a smart object. This will allow you to apply filters non-destructively, meaning you can always go back and adjust the settings later if needed. Once the layer is converted to a smart object, change its blending mode to linear light. This can be done by clicking on the blending mode drop down menu at the top of the layers panel and selecting linear light from the list. Let's rename this layer to retouch. Now that we have prepared our retouch layer, it's time to start applying filters to enhance the skin. First navigate to filter menu located in the top toolbar. Once there, hover over the other option to reveal a drop down menu and then select high pause. This will open a dialog box where you can set the radius of the filter. The radius determines the size of the detail that will be enhanced. So for this purpose, set the radius to 18 pixels. This value will help to bring out the fine details in the skin such as pores and wrinkles without making them too pronounced. After setting the radius, click OK to apply the filter. Next go back to filter menu, select blur and then choose surface blur from the drop down menu. This will open another dialog box where you can set the radius and trust hold for the filter. The radius determines the size of the areas that will be smoothed while the trust hold controls how much difference in color and tone between the pixels is required before they are considered for smoothing. For this purpose, let's set the radius to 11 pixels and the trust hold to 16 pixels. These values will help to smooth out the skin and reduce any blemishes or unevenness, giving it a more even and polished look. After setting the radius and trust hold, click OK to apply the filter. Finally, go back to filter menu one last time. Select blur and then choose Gaussian blur from the drop down menu. This will open another dialog box where you can set the radius for the filter. The radius determines the amount of blur that will be applied to the image. So for this purpose, let's set the radius to 1.5 pixels, a small radius is enough. This value will further soften the skin and give it a more natural and lifelike appearance. After setting the radius, click OK to apply the filter. By applying these filters in sequence, you will be able to enhance the details in the skin, smooth out any blemishes or imperfections and give the skin a more natural and lifelike look. And remember, you need to experiment with the radius values because it depends upon your image size. So keep experimenting until you get the best look for your image. Now that we have applied the filters to the retouch layer, we want to selectively apply these effects to specific areas of the skin. To do this, we will add an inverted layer mask to the retouch layer. To add an inverted layer mask, first make sure that the retouch layer is selected in the layers panel then hold down the alt key on your keyboard or the option key on your mac and click on the add layer mask button at the bottom of the layers panel this button looks like a rectangle with a circle inside of it when you click on it while holding down the alt or option key a black mask will be added to the retouch layer 
This black mask will hide the retouch layer and you won't see any of the effects that you have applied. Next, we want to reveal the retouch layer and apply the effects to the areas of the skin that need retouching. To do this, select the brush tool from the toolbar on the left side of the screen. Choose a soft round brush from the brush options at the top of the screen and set the foreground color to white by clicking on the color swatch at the bottom of the toolbar. With the brush selected, simply paint over the areas of the skin that you want to retouch. As you paint with white, the retouch layer will be revealed and the effects that you have applied will be applied to those areas. You can adjust the size of the brush using the bracket case on your keyboard to make it larger or smaller. And you can also adjust the opacity of the brush if you want to apply the effects more subtly. By adding an inverted layer mask and selectively painting with white, you will be able to control where the retouching effects are applied and achieve a more natural and refined result. If you notice any edge ghosting, which is a halo-like effect that can sometimes occur around the edges of an image after applying filters, you can fix it by adding a levels adjustment layer. To do this, click on the new adjustment layer button at the bottom of the layers panel and select levels from the drop down menu. This will add a new levels adjustment layer to your document. Once the levels adjustment layer is added, you will need to clip it to the retouch layer so that it only affects that layer and not the entire image. To do this, hold down the alt key on your keyboard or options key on a Mac and click on the line between the levels adjustment layer and the retouch layer in the layers panel. This will create a clipping mask and you will see a small arrow pointing down from the levels adjustment layer to the retouch layer indicating that the adjustment layer is now clip, clipped to the retouch layer. With the levels adjustment layer clipped to the retouch layer, you can now adjust the black and white sliders to fix any edge ghosting that may be present. To remove any edge ghosting, start by dragging the black slider to the right. This will help to remove any halo like effects around the edges of the image. After adjusting the black slider, you can also adjust the white slider to balance the skin tones and fix any edge ghosting that may still be present. Simply drag the white slider towards the left. This will help to even out the skin tones, giving the skin a more natural and lifelike appearance. By adjusting the black and white sliders in the levels adjustment layer, you will be able to fix any edge ghosting that may occur and balance the skin tones resulting in a more polished and refined retouched image. Finally, to brighten the eyes and make them pop, add a curves adjustment layer and drag the curves upwards to brighten the entire image. Now change the blending mode of the curve layer to lighten and invert the layer mask by clicking on the mask and pressing Ctrl plus I or Command plus I on your Mac. Now take a soft round brush and paint with white over the eyes to reveal the brightening effect. Now you can lower the opacity of this curves layer around 60% to achieve a more natural look. And that's it. You should now have a retouched photo with smooth natural looking skin and bright poppy eyes. And don't forget to save your work and compare the before and after to see the difference. That's all for this video my friends. I hope you found this tutorial both helpful and informative. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give, give us a like. Got any questions or feedback drop them in the comments. Stay tuned for more videos. Until then next time, happy editing.